In this short video, I'll be showing you how to connect to the Gnosis Chain network in your browser wallet and how to connect to the Gnosis Chain on Giveit. When you go on certain sections of the Giveit platform, you'll notice that it might tell you to connect either to Ethereum mainnet or to the Gnosis Chain. We explained a bit earlier what the Gnosis Chain is, but now let me show you how to connect to the Gnosis Chain in your browser wallet. And to get started, I of course need to have a browser wallet. I currently have MetaMask set up, so I'll just click connect. I'll choose MetaMask, and then I'll click Connect. Once I'm connected, if I go to my browser wallet, I can see that I'm connected to Ethereum mainnet. If I want to connect to the Gnosis chain, I could either click on Gnosis chain here, and then it will automatically add it or I can manually add this network into my browser wallet. If you go to the Gnosis Chain documentation, you can see all of the wallets that are supported by Gnosis Chain on the left here. I can just go to the section of my browser wallet, which is MetaMask, and it will show me how to connect to the Gnosis Chain. So I just have to scroll down here, and it'll say that I have to make a custom network and enter these details here. So let's do that. So I come here, I click here, then I click add network. This is where I can add a new network. So from the documentation, I just have to copy all of these fields. Gnosis chain, this URL here, the chain ID, which is this, the currency symbol, which is XDAI, and the block explorer URL, which is this. Once I'm done, I just click save and it will add the Gnosis chain into my browser wallet. Now, if I go back to Giveth, I can either change between mainnet and Gnosis chain from my browser wallet just by clicking on it like that, or I can just click on this to change back and forth between either Ethereum mainnet or Gnosis chain. The benefits of the Gnosis chain, of course, is that you pay a lot less in gas.